Are confusing website menus driving your visitors away? Let me teach you how to create amazing drop-down menus to add a touch of elegance and functionality to your WordPress website and make it easier to navigate. Sounds good? Let's make it happen. Drop-down menus are an effective way to declutter sites with multiple pages. By organizing pages into sub-menus, they make it much easier for visitors to navigate. And it doesn't stop there though. Some menus enhance user experience, boost your site's professional appearance, and make your site mobile friendly. You can even customize them to match your website's design for a cohesive and polished look. Plus, creating drop-down menus is super easy with WordPress. Today, I will cover three methods to do that. Choose the one that will suit your website best. Okay, let's jump into our first method. And if you're using a WordPress blog theme, head to the site editor and follow along. The WordPress site editor simplifies customization, including menu editing with its drag and drop interface. This is great for us as that makes adding sub items to menus really straightforward as long as we're using WordPress block themes. You'll know you have one if you can see this editor menu under appearance on your WordPress dashboard. Okay, let's get started. First, click this plus icon and search for the navigation block. Simply drag and drop it anywhere you want in the editor interface. Now, you should see the settings panel. You can drag an existing menu item to a lower level like this. This will automatically turn it into a child menu nested inside the main menu item. If you want to create a new drop down menu instead, hover over the parent menu you want, click the option button, and choose add sub menu link. Now, just type the page name into the box and you're done. Other than that, you can also click this plus icon to create a new parent menu or sub menu. Simply choose the content type you want and link it to your desired direction. If you click on the individual menu item, you'll also get options to change its settings, like the label, URL, and description. This plus sign below the menu will let you create a new submenu under the same parent too. Since we added some submenus in our example, the drop-down menu will look like this on the site. Now, what if you're using a classic WordPress theme? In that case, we can replicate this process with a plugin. There are many options available in the WordPress plugin directory, each offering its own extensive features. In this tutorial though, I'll be using the Max Mega Menu plugin. The first step is always to install and activate the plugin from your WordPress dashboard. Now, once you can see the plugin's menu on the dashboard, open it and go to Menu Locations. Check the Enable Max Mega Menu option in the primary menu location and save the changes. Once that's done, navigate to Appearance and select Menus. Here you can arrange how you want drop-down menus to be displayed on your site. You can also configure triggering events and animations in the Max Mega Menu settings on the left. If you want to add or remove items in the navigation menu, simply use the other options like pages, posts, custom links, and categories. Now, to help you arrange the navigation menu, simply click this button to access the themes customizer. From here, you can see the preview of every change you make to your menus. All you need to do is just drag and drop the existing menus to change their position, and if you want to create a submenu, drag it slightly to the right like this. You'll see how the changes apply directly to the preview area. Once you're satisfied with how it looks, hit publish. And that's all you need to do to create a drop-down menu with a plugin. If you don't want to use plugins though, you can set it up manually. Let me show you how to do that. Creating a drop-down menu in WordPress manually is similar to using a plugin. Keep in mind though, you will miss out on the easy customization options. Plus, you'll need to edit CSS for any styling changes. But on the plus side, your drop-down menu won't be affected by theme changes or new plugin installations. However, it is important to ensure your theme supports drop-down menu creation from the get-go. If all of that sounds good, head to Appearance on your WordPress dashboard and choose Menus. Now, you'll see a section for creating a menu within the Edit Menus tab. Keep in mind that the appearance of the section might be different on your end depending on your chosen theme. Add the menu name to the text box, then pick the desired elements for the menus and submenus. You can do this by checking the box next to the item and clicking Add to Menu. The supported items you can use for submenus include pages, posts, categories, and custom links. The selected menu items will appear under this section. All you need to do is just drag and drop the items and sub-items into your preferred order. You can even preview changes directly by clicking the button here. 
Up to this point, the steps were basically the same as with the plugin. However, if you want to customize how the menu looks further, you'll need to use CSS. You can enable this by clicking the Screen Options menu and checking the CSS Classes box. Now, every time you expand a menu item, you'll see a new text box labeled CSS Classes. Here, you can add WordPress CSS classes to customize the style of your new drop-down menu. If you want to change its location, simply head to the Manage Locations tab. Once again, the display choice will depend on your active WordPress theme. Now that you have a drop-down menu, let's talk about making it even better. Effective navigation menus are crucial for a positive user experience on WordPress sites. So, let's cover some tips for keeping your drop-down menus organized and easy to use. Okay, first, simplicity is key. Focus on your most important links and don't overwhelm people with too many choices. Also, try to limit how many levels you have in your dropdowns. Too many layers get confusing. Okay, next, think about your labels. Can someone quickly tell where the links will lead them? Avoid vague terms and use clear descriptive names. Oh, and bonus tip, adding hidden area labels for screen readers makes your website more accessible to everyone. For some extra visual flair, consider adding icons. These can liven things up and make it easier to scan your options. Some plugins can even help you add hover animations for more interactivity. Just remember, don't go overboard. Keep it clean and readable. If you want to customize even further, you can use custom CSS classes to tweak things like colors, font sizes, and spacing. To do that, navigate over to Appearance, Customize, and add additional CSS in the WordPress dashboard. Now, if you have a lot of pages to link, create a WordPress mega menu just like we did with the Max Mega Menu plugin. Mega menus offer way more space for submenus, links, and even images. Perfect for big websites where you want visitors to find everything easily. And finally, test everything out. Make sure your dropdowns work perfectly on different browsers and devices. For this, consider using a staging environment. It's essentially a safe place to test changes before they go live on your main site. And that's it. All right, and now you know how to create a WordPress drop-down menu on your site. Which method did you end up using? Let me know in the comment section below. If this video helped you out, give it a like and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and turning on notifications to see more handy tutorials like this in the future. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.